Good evening folks, this is a brief ROM overview, actually it's just a brief preview of Samsung Galaxy S3 running Ubuntu Touch OS. It's still in work in progress, this is just a page of uh, XDR developers. It looks nice, I just gave it a run and, and now you can see how it works on the phone. Okay, and yep, this is my Galaxy S3, it has Ubuntu Touch OS on it. This is a lock screen or welcome screen as you can see it's showing 14 tweets received. Your messages, it's showing search on the top. Your connection, your battery and the time. It's a wrong time. Like I said, nothing can be done. It's just a working preview. But it's fast. It's quite fast for working preview. This is a slider of all the applications on the phone that comes pre-installed. You go to the last one. It's the home screen. This is how your home screen sir. This is a frequency app. This is a people you are in touch with, there's nothing, this is a recent music, videos, it's completely up and down, top, bottom swipe in this, the home button will not work, let's see you swipe from right to left, it's your people's hub, your music hub, you can uh, move from here also, home page, your apps, and your videos, so we get this five home page, and then you can move up and down. These are so-called apps that's available for download, like I said, calendar, clock, Evernote, maps, etc. Okay, now you swipe from the left to right, you get this panel, notification panel. Not notification, sorry, your app panel. More like the multi-view window of Samsung. You click this, it goes to the music player. And like I said, it's a working preview, it doesn't work. Bring it back again. You can go to the notes app. Again, it doesn't work. Twitter. Now you can see it's now stopped. Oh, okay, notes came. This is a notes app. Error. Yeah, this is a multitasking mode. If you want to go to the previous screen, just swipe from the right edge of the screen and you can go back to the previous window. This is a notes app. Keep on typing. And this is a Facebook. And this is a bug. It'll take some time to go. There's no network at all. Your gallery. This is your gallery app. So you can see 6 December 2012. You can swipe the photo from left to right. You can go up and down. You can click on a photo. Double click it. Like I said, it's kind of buggy. Double click it. Go more close. And double click it to go back. To go back to the home screen, just swipe from left and go to the edge of the screen and you can see now running apps which all you open gallery facebook notepad twitter and like it's a bit of frequently used apps you you can get the point uh, this is the phone this is how the dialer is supposed to appear it's it's okay for a demo version in your camera camera app it works maybe for the Nexus 4. It's actually not built for Galaxy S3. It was just ported by a developer whose link I'll be posting below. And you can see it doesn't work at all. Mm, browser will not work because it doesn't have any connectivity or it doesn't have any Wi Fi. Okay. Then, like I said, multitasking swipe from the right edge of the screen. This is the contacts, conversation, it seems like I've had. I don't know any of these people. Gallery comes up. All your open applications. Okay, the notification is very similar to Android. And it's why from up. Swipe from both. One second. Yeah, you swipe. You can see all this. So, all the. This is a messaging hub. You can click on a message. Click reply. And click send. It will go from here directly. All your messages. And. You can change your networks, sound, daytime and battery, with your appointments, everything will come up over here. Very similar to Android method, only thing it's this is more uh, functional than Android. Okay, then what else I can show you? Nothing much to show you, it doesn't work. 99% of the things don't work. But, 
like I said, it's better for multitasking. It seems more smoother for a demo version. is really really smooth. Unfortunately, cellular radio don't work. Camera doesn't work. Gallery doesn't work. Music player doesn't work. Nothing works. This is just a prototype. You can virtually say it's a prototype. It's smooth enough prototype. Like I said, to move into apps, you can just move it like this. That's it. This is just a brief overview. For I really, I'm really excited to see this working as a working model but at the moment it's just for geeks who would like to try it out and show off the world that there's such an OS till then bye bye